Howdy, my fellow wood gasses and experimenters. As you can probably hear, it's still raining because it's still the weekend. So, this gives me a great opportunity to muck around with important things. You may remember the first video you saw of this, where it spun along at a reasonable pace. The uh, wiring, as you can probably tell, has changed. In the first video, I had it wired up like this. Star configuration. In this arrangement, for this video, I rewired it. So it's more like that. So phase one, two, three, are arranged in this delta configuration. What's very interesting to Pi Caton is that the motor goes faster, as well as it's capable of going slower. So I'll start it off. It's draining approximately not much current. In the previous arrangement, that was draining about 2-ish amps, and it had approximately not much torque. Now when I load this up, it puts in more concerted effort into continuing to spin. Uh, okay, that will grow back. Um, now, as I rev it up, You'll notice it's actually going faster than in the previous video. Still going faster. And you'll notice it's not draining very much current. I'll we'll take it all the way up as fast as this speed control will go. That's as high as it'll go and it's only 7 amps. Measure the speed of this at 6,000 RPM. Ain't that amazing? I do have to watch out though, is this little wee golden brick will get hot if I'm not careful. I figured I'll put a fan on that so it don't smoke. Now if I select a higher gear, just give us a moment to pop that off. What I'm doing here is I'm putting another resistor in, and that's reducing the current on the field, uh, the uh, armature windings to a lower figure than before. And that makes it go faster, but you lose torque. Let's have another go at revving this little puppy up. At maximum speed that was drawing 10 amps from the 14 volt battery and when I measured it with my speedy gunny it was doing just under 10,000 RPM. Now I reckon if I put that on my pushy bike that ought to put me up to 9,516 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, that means I can actually catch up with sounds I made a minute ago. Anyway, boys and girls, I thought you might be interested to see what happens to one of these little motors when you change from star, which seems to be most common based on what I've seen on the interwebs. So, changing from this configuration to that configuration. It, uh, I think it actually gives you more torque and it lets the motor work more efficiently. And what's even better is that you can get the three phases and you can put them in the fuel processor. So there's a lot to be stated for making changes to an alternator. Okay, that's enough of my coffee fueled rant for the weekend I think. Cheers and beers, my good friends.